Hello everyone. Welcome back to the revision series for prelims examination 2020. So here we are continuing with the science and technology current affairs. So this lecture में हम cover करते हैं defence and space related technologies. So this is part 11 of the video. Hope you have seen all the 10 parts where in which we have covered lot of current affairs from the past one and half years. This is part 11 where we are going to cover some more current affairs. So चलिए शुरू करते हैं. तो इस लेक्चर में हम कवर कर रहे हैं पहले आदित्य एलेवन मिशन के बारे में उसके बाद वी विल टॉक अबाउट द 2020 ट्वेंटी सी डी थ्री मिनी मून उसके बाद वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एग्जो मार्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द सनराइज मिशन द पेट्रियॉट एयर डिफेंस मिसाइल्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द अबाउट द नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी डे द एयरबोन रेस्क्यू पॉट फॉर आइसोलेटेड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन द मैग्नेटो कैलोरिक मटीरियल्स एंड मैरिज यू विल सी ऑल ऑफ दैट तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट Aditya L1 mission. Aditya L1 mission is going to be India's first solar mission, and this will be launched using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle (XL) configuration. So, what is the Polar Satellite Launch uh, (PSLV) XL configuration? So, it means that the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle (PSLV). Let's say if this is the PSLV, it will have some extra boosters. It will have some extra boosters. So, this is called the PS. This is called the booster conf XL configuration for PSLV. When it has boosters, it is called XL configuration. Okay, so this here, this in this L1 mission, we are going to place the satellite in the Lagrangian point L1. What is the Lagrangian point? So Lagrangian points are those locations in the space where combined gra the gravitational pull on two large mass roughly balance each other. What does that mean? That means if you see, this is sun. This is sun. and this is earth if if a body is there in between sun and earth let's say this is the body and th this body this body is going to experience some gravity because of sun as well as the earth it is going to experience some gravity so the lagrangian points are those points the l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 these five points are those points where the gravity the net gravity on this body the net effect of the gravity because of sun as well as the earth on this body is zero so this body will not experience any gravity because the gravity of sun and the earth will cancel out each other okay so that is the important thing here we have to understand the lagrangian points are those points where the gravitational pull of the two bodies two large bodies cancel out each other and the net gravitational pull experienced by the body is zero okay so a small mass placed at the location will remain at that constant distance related to the large large mass because it will not experience any pull or push okay so there are five such points the l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 a halo orbit is a periodic three dimensional orbit near l1 l2 l3 so that means near the points there is an orbit where the satellite remains so these are those are called the halo orbit which is a periodic orbit okay so that is about the lagrangian point so this aditya l1 mission we are sending the rocket we are sending the satellite to the l1 lagrangian point where we will study about the sun's corona the solar emission the solar winds and flares and the coronal mass ejection we will be studying regarding all of these things and will carry out the round the clock managing of the what round the clock activity of the sun we will be monitoring okay that is the importance of this l1 mission of this aditya l1 mission so next one the 2020 cd3 a mini moon to so recently we have observed a new moon for earth what is the new moon it is nothing but a part a body rotating around the earth a new body is rotating around the earth that we have seen what is this is new it is nothing but asteroid has changed its path and it is ro now rotating around the earth so astronomers have recently observed a small object which is orbiting around the earth and it will have the uh, and it is called a 2020 cd3 it is called a mini moon or planet second moon it's a temporary bo temporary body it will not be a permanent body you know it is just the size of a car it is 1.9 to 3.5 meters only it is just the size of a car it's a temporarily captured object it has changed its parts and it it, it is now rotating around the earth after few days it will again go out of this path and it will change the path again okay so it's that is why it is called a temporarily captured object next one exo mars what is exo mars exo mars is the the european built european and roscosmos built mission 
so it's a joint collaboration between european space agency and the russian space agency to find out whether life has existed on mars or not so these days we are planning for all of these interplanetary missions what is our main objective our main objective is to find aliens our main objective is to find whether life is possible on other planets or not this is the main objective of ours so here this exomars project yeah, this is going to this is going to find out whether life has already existed ever existed on mars or not its main objective ye hai it will find out whether life existed on mars or not it is a joint collaboration between the european space agency and the russian space agency and the launch of this exomars is delayed to 2022 so uh, it should have been launched in 2020 but it was delayed to 2022 the it's european built rosalind franklin rover which is named after a former british chemist so this will be there in that this exomars project okay next one the sunrise mission so sunrise mission belongs to nasa sunrise belong mission belongs to nasa so what this mission will do is it will study the sun or you can say the storms of this sun the sun storms it will study why this is important this is important because the sun storms you know it will help us in understanding how the solar system works why the sun storms occurs and all of these things it will be studied by this mission and this will also help us to protect our astronauts who are doing the interplanetary missions who are there on the interplanetary manned missions so if you understand the solar storms we will be able to protect our astronauts also so this sunrise mission it will consist of an array of six cube sats that means six small satellites operating as one very large radio telescope it will be launched in 2023 by nasa so sunrise mission belongs to nasa next one the patriot air defense missiles why this was in news this was in news because us has recently deployed this patriot air defense missile system in iraq us has deployed this so this is a long range all altitude all weather air defense system of united states it is to counter ballistic missiles as well as the cruise missiles and an advanced aircraft also the patriot air defense miss missile belongs to united states and the question can be like recently the patriot we have seen patriot defense missile in in the news it belongs to which country us uk france russia the question can be like that so this belongs to united states it is equipped with a track via missile tvm guidance system the missile has a range of 70 kilometers and a maximum altitude greater than 24 kilometers this is about the patriot air defense missile system next one national technology day so national technology day we will celebrate every year on may 11th so may 11th is celebrated as national technology day why so since 1999 we are celebrating this in order to mark the nuclear test that we have performed on march on sorry not march may i'm sorry it's may 11th so performed on may 11th performed on may 11th 1998 india has tested the pokhran india has tested the nuclear weapons in the pokhran in the pokhran range in rajasthan you have hope you have seen this movie parmanu where it was clearly shown how india has performed this okay so the national technology will be celebrated on may 11th it was celebrated to mark the detonation of three nuclear bombs in indian army pokhran test range so you know as you know this is the image of from the original you know test site here you can see our former president abdul kalam our former prime minister adal bihari vajpayee all the legends are there so dr abdul kalam has led this mission where india successfully test fired the shakti 1 nuclear missile it's under project shakti operation shakti india has tested its nuclear weapons also one more thing happened on the, on the 11th of may to the, on 1998 one more thing has happened what is that hansa 3 india's first indigenous aircraft was also tested on 11th of may 1998 so 11th of may 1998 holds a very significance in the technological you know, development of india here you can see this year the ministry of science and technology technology development board has organized a conference to celebrate this day celebrate this national technology day where the theme of the conference is rebooting the economy through science technology and research in translation titled restart so if you see, if you you know if it was asked if it was asked in the exam what is the mission of that national technology day 
sorry sorry 2020 what is the mission or you can say what is the theme of 2020 national technology day it is restart rebooting the economy through science technology and research translations okay that is the main theme of this conference next one the arpit arpit is airborne rescue pod for isolated transportation it is designed developed and manufactured by indian air force it is developed by indian air force and it is a pod pod matlab it is a box like thing so this box like thing it will help in transporting the patients who are you know who, who have the critical who are in there in the critical stage and are suffering from an infectious disease you know this in this corona times it is very important to protect our doctors also so when there is an infected patient he has to be transported no doubt but how he has to transport it is he has to be transported very safely so that the people who are traveling with the patient does not get affected so for this we have developed this pod like thing here you can see in this image this is a pod like thing where we are transporting the patient it is it has a transparent and durable cast perpex for enhanced patient visibility which is a larger higher and wider than the existing modules it uses high efficiency particulate air hepa h class 13 filters okay so it also has a ventilator support so it's a pod like thing where in which we will be transporting the patients who are infected with the infectious diseases that's why this is important arpit is developed by indian air force next one magneto caloric materials what are this magneto caloric materials there are certain materials in which application and removal of magnetic field causes the materials to become warmer or cooler that means there are certain materials where when the magnetic field is removed then the material becomes either warmer or cooler that is the you know that is crazy thing with this scientist of scientist at the international advanced research center for powder metallurgy and new material an autonomous r&d department r&d center under the department of science and technology has developed this magneto caloric material it's a rare earth based magnet material that can be effective use for the cancer treatment it is very effective for the cancer treatment so this, what is this magneto caloric material it is that material where when the magnetic field is removed it either becomes warm or cooler okay that is important thing next one marriage marriage was in use marriage is nothing but the anti torpedo decoy system it's an anti torpedo decoy system it is developed by the defense research and development organization drdo it was recently inducted into the indian navy so what is the main task of this marriage the main task of marriage is it is capable of detecting locating and neutralizing an incoming torpedo so torpedoes are the missiles launched by the ships and submarines okay so this marriage is anti torpedo decoy system where in which it will help in detecting locating and neutralizing an incoming torpedo that is the that is marriage it is developed by defense research and development organization drdo now let's revise what we have studied so far first we have seen about aditya l1 mission where we are going to launch a solar mission isro is going to launch a solar mission to the to the l1 point l1 is a lagrangian point next is 2020 cd3 a mini moon recently we have seen we have observed an asteroid is rotating around the earth which is like a mini moon next is exo mars exo mars is joint collaboration between european space agency and roscosmos of russia where they will combinedly study whether life has earlier existed on mars or not next we have seen about patriot air defense missile where in which america has usa has deployed this patriot air defense missile in iraq next the national technology day which is celebrated on may 11th every year it is used to you know this national technology day is used to it is to remember the 1998 nuclear test conducted by india at the pokhran test range in rajasthan next is the airborne rescue pod for isolated transportation arpit it is developed by the indian air force to you know it is to take patients who are, or you can say it is to mainly to move the patients who are terminally ill because of the infectious disease next is the magneto caloric materials wherein which a material a material will either get heated or cooled when magnetism is removed magnetic field is removed next is marich marich is nothing but the anti torpedo decoy missile you know it is developed by drtvo okay so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind